I mean, that was just stuff I wanted to go over. Psychic dreams. I'm sorry. You psychic don't... Dreams. Psychic dreams. Psychic dreams, oh. Okay, I was just going to say, are there any common questions that people might ask? I mean... About... Dreams in general, or, you know, is there something... Um... What would be common questions that people would probably ask? Let's see, that's a good question. You know, that's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question, isn't it? Um... What questions do you have? Well... What is a common... If, if you were faced with somebody who knew all... Oh, no, that was pretty don't, paranormal. Don't, that was just a... That was just a... a earthquake. No. Oh, I thought it was a ghost. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, um, what the heck? Oh, so if you were faced with somebody who knew all, what would you ask them regarding dreams? I would probably ask, um, a question is popping into my brain. I would probably say, where do dreams exist? It's like, it's like, we go to bed and we dream, where, where are they? I mean, are they floating above our head? Are they, where are they? Some dimensional level? Hmm. I mean, I, I, I bet you there's people that ask that. That's a good question. But also, are they on the thought Boy, that's level? that's a really good question. You think so? That is a really oh, good question. It just question. popped into my head. Wow. You know, where do they exist? I mean, it's like our thoughts, where do they exist? Our thinking. Right. There's different levels of these things, but the dreams. You're all into levels, aren't you? I guess so. What, is there anything but levels? No. No, uh. Well, frequencies, we can call them frequencies. Frequencies, levels, let's let's call them frequencies Frequency. in honor of the show. Yeah, frequencies on the dial, like on a radio, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So basically frequency. you're saying, what frequency do dreams exist on? I think oh, we could <laughs> ask it that way. I think dreams Just exist on, not that you're asking me, but in my opinion, I think they exist on several different frequencies. I think it depends on what yeah, you're dreaming. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know, because I think when it comes to a, t a pretty typical, you know, symbolic dream that doesn't have a whole lot of, it's not real weighty. It's like, you know, you, you go from, right, you right. think back to the whole dream. The whole dream maybe is about a couple of coworkers or it's just kind of a re goes over your day. Maybe your boss really pissed you off. Right. So you have this dream about strangling them. <laughs> you know, it's basically you're just yeah, getting out it's projecting. all projecting. Yeah, right, projecting your emotions, yeah. what but, you wanted to do. Right, but you don't see your long-lost, I don't know, grandpa who passed away 10 years ago in the dream, or it's not psychic in any way, you don't feel anything. I think those are probably a pretty low frequency, yeah. you know, not yeah. really. Maybe they're all in your head. Yeah. Maybe that's actually more of a biological, chemical, logical yeah. kind of dream, but... Yeah, I think so, because it's, it's on that emotional level yeah. where you're going, you're, it's like you're reliving something that in your life, right. and it's like, why didn't I do it differently? Why, I could have done yeah. it this way, or I should have done that. Right, it's just and maybe you know, you're more your that's brain kind of recataloging right. things. So that is probably a lower level kind of a thing. Right. And someone could be using your fears, you know, and uh, different emotions. But then when it comes to, like, I mean, I, I firmly believe that, like, pretty much when you second you fall asleep and you hit that REM stage or right, whatever, right. you're gonna, your, your astral body pops out right. and goes out and plays. Right. And pretty much you, you could go to the other side, heaven, right. whatever you want to call yeah. it. And you could, you know, you could go anywhere. That's where your remote yeah, viewing comes right, from, right. I think. And now another thing I always wonder, I think in reality, like when you dream and you probably really do go to some places or different levels. Right. And maybe you meet real people, real beings. But I always wonder if there's a point where maybe you are creating a little world for that particular dream, you know. I, mean, I don't know. I always wondered. It. It's oh, like if, you know, okay. it's like maybe for a moment there you're creating this little stage for yourself for that dream. Right. For some reason, maybe there's some message going on. Yeah. So my you know? so then yeah. going with that. Yeah. Is there like this blank? Like, is there okay? <laughs> like you're drawing if, a picture. If we're, if we're okay, if we're gonna talk about frequencies. Okay. Let's say okay, this world, this consciousness, this exists on, I don't know, ninety-two point five. <laughs> there <Okay>? you go. <laughs> That's what this one's on. Okay. okay. And, right. and heaven is on thirteen twenty frequency. Okay. Not the thirteen part. Ooh, no. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> 
666. No. You're superstitious type. Okay. Uh, <laughs> six, six, okay. Channel 66.6. Six, six. No. Yeah, that's what heaven's on. <laughs> so, okay. No, it can't be. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, if we're talking about <laughs> dreams being on different levels. Right, right. And you're talking about this one where you would just essentially make your own world. Right. Is there like right. this blank, like in the Matrix? Okay. Ah. The, okay, the Matrix blank dream. program. Okay. The blank. Remember, okay, like one of the first times I he think goes. I remember. In, the one of the first times he goes into the Matrix, right. they stick him in there, and he's in this totally white room. Okay, okay, yeah. It's totally blank, and then they right. upload his mm -hmm. program, whatever. Right, right. I wonder if it's like there's a frequency that's totally blank. Okay. That everybody can go to right. and just the hello their deck. world. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. You create your own world, you know. Yeah. That very well could be, you know, I wonder. It's like a stage, you know, uh... Yeah. Like there's a certain dream, do you, do you, the way I'm looking at it, there's a certain message that got to be brought across to you and this whole stage is created so that that will be played out, Right. you know, for you to get that message. Hmm. And that very well, very well could happen that way, you know. It could. It's That'd interesting. Be interesting. Yeah, it is interesting to look into. But that's why I say there's that, plus there's other probably real <coughs> levels that you're actually going to, you know, with real beings okay. that you're actually meeting. You know, there's those too. There's so. there's one theory I heard that um, all your nightmares okay there's like like in the like supposedly there's okay you got level zero okay level okay. zero is Earth okay this frequency oh, we're zeros on them. anyway sure zero level <laughs> so then after after level zero you can go up which is up to like seven and like that that's like right. like level one to level seven that's right. all the layers of the other side okay okay. Then you can go down. You can go down, and then you're going to the negatives. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then the layers going down. You know. And okay. Okay. So in theory, the very last layer down right. is basically where we dump all of our garbage, mm -hmm. mental garbage. And supposedly, sometimes when people have these night terrors or they have right. these nightmares. Right. They astrally project themselves down into the yeah. last layer. That's what I'm wondering, like a psychic level, or yeah, psychically, like they put or astrally. Yeah, they I push themselves, they project themselves down there for whatever reason. Right. And it's just everybody's. I mean, imagine all the filth. Right. And think right, of the horrible right, things you right. have thought of, and you have thought mm -hmm. of. Okay. Pretty fucked up shit, I'm sure. And. It goes down. It all gets dumped into one place, yeah, yeah, and then you go yeah. down there and take a stroll down there <laughs> astrally. I'm really lean. So. Well, see, that's the question I've always wondered. I was thinking in terms of levels, like we have the Earth plane, and then there's like mental planes. Yeah. Um, I guess you could say there's spiritual planes or heaven plane, if you want to call it different planes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Then I always think in terms of. There must be like a, a really dense psychic level below the earth plane. Is that's what we're, or maybe an underworld? Maybe that's what you'd call it, an underworld or a hell level. level I suppose. Okay. You know? And that'd be that. I think that's another thing. One of these days we can discuss. You know, some people believe hell is a place, ah. but it's probably just another frequency, a very dark, dismal frequency, which I believe is probably below the earth plane, somewhere. Okay. You know, so it's not physically literally down in the earth i think it's down in vibration you see just okay. like a heavenly uh, frequency would be up in vibration if you want to call okay. it that up in free the upward frequencies <clears throat> right you know huh. uh, i think that's, that's one way to look at it you know or well, up in like vibration down in vibration is another way of putting it what are the other free see another thing is like what do the other frequencies look like do they look like here are they here you know yeah because well, think about it i mean it's just like a radio. Right. You have one right. radio, right. 100 different channels. Right. 100 different channels, and all you got to do is turn this magic dial. Right. And the, the um, radio itself doesn't change. Right. The speakers don't change. Right. It's just you turn this magic little dial. Exactly, exactly. And suddenly you go from country to rock. Right. <laughs> but nothing changed except for it tuned into a different frequency. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool if you could make a little frequency thing? Or spirits. Okay. That would be. I don't know if that's what's going on. That whole white noise thing. Hmm. Or if you could do that white noise radio way. Tune into the spirits, to the spirit world. That'd be the cool. radio. You'd yeah. Be rich. Well, someone may be trying it. Um, but. Um, 
I had a thought. What was it? Anyway. <laughs> okay, must have been a lie. I didn't something. I don't know. <laughs> so, do you have anything else? Can you think of anything else we want to discuss about dreams? Well, that's what I'm trying to. See, that's what I'm wondering when you're dreaming. But I think you're right. There's not just one re frequency that we're touching into when we dream. There's many. It could be many. It could be, like I said, the lower ones. Could be the higher ones. And the nightmares are coming from those lower frequencies, Possible? like you said. Whether you want to call it an underworld or a psychic realm or kind of a, a, a hell, helldacious frequency, <laughs> whatever yeah. you want to call it. Some hell, shit. Yeah, yeah, really. There you go. <laughs> and we've had those weird kind of dreams before, you know, to give everyone yeah, has. Absolutely. For whatever reason. Absolutely. But yeah. uh, I always another thing I always wonder about. I think there, at least for some people, I like to believe there are built-in safety mechanisms, like when you're dreaming or whether you're astral projecting, going somewhere. Because when you're dreaming about it, usually you're astral projecting to that place or that level, that frequency. Mm -hmm. And I would like to think that there are, there are safety uh, precautions, you know, protecting you from anything crazy going on or entities or anything. Well, think you know. about it. How many times have you died in a dream? Well, I don't think I have very many times, you know. <laughs> I mean, like you knew that someone, boom, shot you in your dream, and you bled out, and you knew you just died. <laughs> hmm. I just died. I'm dead. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever had anything like that. Have you? Yeah. yeah. That must be the safety mechanism. It could be. I mean, it's just like I've heard people say that when you fall, and if you land, it will, it, will you die from it? Or usually you wake up before you fall, or before you land. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought that was interesting. I've never completely hit the ground in a falling dream. I, I've heard that the hitting the ground part is the waking up because you're astrally. Okay, okay, yeah. Basically, something like it could have been like you're okay. Let's say you're in you're in your bunker asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh -huh, um, area fifty-seven. Anyway. Yeah, you're in area fifty-seven uh, sleeping, uh, uh, and um, but your astral body is on Pluto. Yeah, okay. there you go. There you go. And Way something out there. <laughs> falls. Let's say, uh -huh. let's say a book falls off one of your shelves okay. and lands on the floor, and that's enough of a noise to mm -hmm. wake you up. Well, your body or your astral body has got to get from Pluto to Area Fifty Seven. Right. <laughs> and that would be the falling yeah. sensation okay. is the speed, and then the okay. jolt is you, you waking go. up. There you go. Right. Yeah. That's, that's one interesting. Theory makes wow. sense because every yeah. single time you fall you never hit the ground right. you always right. wake up not to change this actually it is dreams it's still we're still on the dream subject okay. i had i think you call it a telekinetic dream or telekinesis dream if you're i don't know if i ever told you and i was a teenager this was like i was just a you know i don't know i might have been 17 or something and i i thought i was awake and i was in my bedroom on my bed and i was lifting things up like I was lifting up the clock, lifting this up, lifting all these objects up. Wow, this is cool. I can levitate all these objects. And then somehow I just, I guess I really woke up and I was like, my God, what was that? And I tried to levitate things and it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what a letdown, you know, wow. but it felt real. It felt like I was really doing it, yeah. levitating all these objects. And it was very, in a dream world, it was very real. Yeah. Like I was really doing this. You wake up in this earthly plane or earthly frequency. Right. Nothing. It was really strange. I mean, so I don't know if that was some form of lucid dreaming or, or what that was. It was like an ability, like I'm learning this ability in the dream. 